फाइंड फोर इयर सीरीज कोइफिशियंट एंड ड्रॉ मैग्नेट्यूड एंड फेस स्पेक्ट्रम फॉर द सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू कॉस टू पाई बाई थ्री इंटू टी प्लस टू इंटू साइन फाइव पाई बाई थ्री इंटू टी नाउ कंसिडर दिस एज ओमेगा वन एंड दिस एज ओमेगा टू सो फंडामेंटल पीरियड टी वन इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाय ओमेगा वन सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला सो हियर टू पाई बाय वॉट इज ओमेगा वन सो इट इज टू पाई बाय थ्री सो टू पाई टू पाई गेट कैंसिल थ्री गोज टू द न्यूमरेटर सो इट विल बी थ्री नाउ टी टू इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाय ओमेगा टू टू पाई वॉट इज ओमेगा टू हियर फाइव पाई बाय थ्री ओके pi and pi get cancelled 3 goes to the numerator 3 twos are 6 so it will be 6 by 5 fine now t1 upon t2 what is t1 it is 3 what is t2 it is uh, 6 upon 5 okay uh 5 three is a 15 by 6 Here you can cancel this. Three fives are fifteen, and uh, three twos are so five by two. Five by two is uh, rational. So we can tell that x of t, that is this, is a periodic. Fine. So what I can write is cross multiply two into t one. So it is two into t one. Next five into t two. Consider that as a t. Now write here two. What is t one value? It is three. Write here five. What is t two value? It is six by five. Five and five get cancelled. Two three is a six and six. So what is the t value? It is six. Now omega is equal to two pi by t. This is a fundamental frequency. Two pi upon T value is six, so two ones are two threes are. So omega value is pi by three. Fine. Now, for this, what you can write is, for cos there is a formula. It is e raised to j uh, omega two pi. Cos formula I have written here. Sin formula I have written here. From that I can write the given equation as a e raised to j two pi by three into t plus e raised to minus j two pi by three into t divided by two. This is cos formula plus two here and sin formula. From this I can write e raised to uh, j five pi by three into t minus e raised to minus j five pi by Three uh, into t divided by two. Now I will write separately for all. One upon two. Okay, e raised to j two pi by three. Now instead of two pi by three, I'll write omega t. Why? Because omega value is pi by three from here. So pi by three, I can write omega. Now plus one upon two because I have separated these two. E raised to minus j two omega t plus two into separate these two again. One upon two j e raised to j phi omega t minus two into One upon two j e raised to minus j phi omega t. These two and these two get cancelled. These two and these two get cancelled. Write once again. One upon two j two omega t plus one upon two e raised to minus j two omega t plus always remember one upon j means minus j. 
ओके एंड हियर माइनस वन अपॉन जे मीन्स इट इज प्लस जे सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज अ माइनस जे ई रेज टू जे फाइव ओमेगा टी माइनस वन अपॉन जे मीन्स इट इज प्लस सो ई रेज टू माइनस जे फाइव ओमेगा टी नाउ हियर इन दिस सिंस वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट ई रेज टू जे ओमेगा के टी you can see you have a j here you have a omega here you have a t so in place of k what do you see here so k value r 2 and here it is minus 2 here it is 5 and here it is minus 5 are you understanding now let us plot the spectrum magnitude and a phase spectrum so i have drawn a magnitude uh, spectrum here and a space spectrum here so this is your k values since it is a 2 minus 2 5 minus 5 i have written 0 1 2 3 4 5 here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 in the magnitude spectrum here also in a phase spectrum 0 1 2 3 4 5 here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 now how to plot the uh, you can tell graph so it is Modulus of x of k value is two. So k value two means here. So what is the coefficient here? Modulus of one by two is nothing but one by two. So at two, so I'll write it here one by two. So k value is two, uh, so it will be one by two. If k value is minus two, then it is again one by two. So minus two means here. So it is. One by two. If k value is five, you can see here minus one is the coefficient. Okay, so uh, minus one. So modulus of minus one is plus one. So at five, because there is a k value is five. At five, it is one. At k value is oh, my, when k value is minus five, it is one. So minus five k value is minus five. It is one. Now for a space spectrum, there is a formula tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part. Fine. Now here you don't find imaginary part. Now what is imaginary part? It is a plus ib form. So you don't find imaginary part in the two and minus two. So I'll Write this as a zero and this as a zero. Ha! Huh. Here, for k is equal to five, so k is equal to five. Tan inverse of what is the imaginary? This j is called as an imaginary part. So this is minus one from here, minus one, and a real part you don't have, so it is zero. Tan inverse of infinity is pi by two. So at five. It is minus pi by two because there is a minus here. Okay, when k is minus five, so it is plus pi by two. So this completes your answer.